Welcome everybody to 48 Talk, Emergency Talk for Yamaguchi Maho Assaults. Uh, we got it here today because on um, yesterday on showroom, Yamaguchi Maho Entity 48 member um, just revealed that she, um, because she was absent for two weeks ago, um, basically what happened was she was going through a term that on December the 8th um, two ma uh, fans basically have broken into their home and um, assaulted her and she was um, well, touched by her, her face or next she escaped um, through the window I heard or something like that and basically what we're here now to do today is discuss this situation because there's a lot of news coming out of it and we this is something we need to discuss now. So joining me this time is the user crew of DX Takamine on the right and Derek on the bottom left. Hi guys. Yo. Yo. So um, yeah, where to start? Um, I think let's start by reading her. Uh, what thanks to, to someone who translated her uh, tweets that first uh, got in there. But basically, uh, what happened to on showroom was. I'm reluctant to speak about such things. I don't want to cause trouble on people who gave me assistance. I don't want uh, people to hate about NGT. So during this one month, I kept it silent, although it felt distressing. I even pleaded to a voice saying that involved NGT went on the news. Even this because I greatly care for this group. This is also because I had hopes that everything would have gotten dealt with and solved. Even so, I decided to bear it up for a month, believing and wanting to protect this group. In the end, they decided not to deal with it. What's more, Imamura-san, even though he heard every detail about the members from the police, even though he said he would take measures against it, in the end he tried to dismiss it at me having just victimhood delusions. I decided to remain silent for the sake of the group, even though such an indecent took place, and yet I got betrayed. I do not wish for anyone to hate on NGT. There's many girls who are working earnestly in here, and I couldn't stand it if they faced the same situation as I did. It feels painful to me, so I wish to the girls that I care so much will never go to feel the same thing. It's fine if it's just me crying, but seeing as how everyone had been crying, feeling frustrated and uneasy, I want to do something about it, so I'm gonna tell the truth. Last month, after the end of a theater show, I was assaulted by two men while on my way home. A certain member informed them about what time we were returned back home from theater show. One more member was also informed about them, about my house address and apartment number. Yet another certain member also incited the perpetrators to go to where my home was. Is it really necessary for members who are in relationship with fans to have your private information leaked and be assaulted by others if you aren't in a relationship with fans yourself? Is there anything wrong with not getting in any love affair, doing your idol work with diligence? Is there anything wrong with wanting not to have a relationship with fans? Why wanting to honor the rules means I would have to go and experience such dreadful situations in this group. Why is it such a group where you cannot protect girls who go about their jobs diligently? Is it right for people to betray so many fans behind their back and being in a relationship with others? I can't understand how this can be allowed. <sighs> this is um, this is some some heavy stuff. So we had this before, of course, when we had our advice yeah. about. Yamaguchi Maho with the hotel situation with showroom. But this now, ever, this, this is not just something little to go by. And as you guys you know, when we heard this news, we were all outraged. And, and we need to do the situation carefully and get our thoughts. But as we waited, more and more things are revealing. So yeah, um, I want to hear, hear you guys' uh, thoughts about this. And um, who would like to go first on this point? Um, well, I'm going to go first because, well, when I s uh, read about the news that Mahon did the showroom, I didn't uh, have the chance to actually watch the showroom, but the thing that struck me is she got cut off halfway. It's more like, huh? what the heck happened? And then she went on Twitter and she was posting Twitter and she was posting so much I couldn't keep up translating. But the, another thing that I noticed was suddenly her Twitter account got protected, as in, if what? you're not a follower, you can't see her tweets, so I was more like, "What is this all about?" Okay, sure, I'm gonna screenshot every, uh, I'm gonna screenshot everything and share them myself because whatever she's saying, this needs to be out in the open. And then I started translating, and after about the second or third tweet, I couldn't actually go on translating. I got, I got 
anger too much. It's more like, I need to go away. I need to go out because this is not good. This is not good at all. And then the next morning when I woke up, everything exploded. Even NHK National uh, was uh, having an item about it. It was like, oh man. Uh, if they try to cover this up, <laughs> they will help me. I will make sure there will be help to pay. You can count on that. But that's how I feel at the moment. Derek. Um, yeah, I, I wanna I wanna just rewind a little bit. Um, Robin, so there was more descriptions I I believe given about the actual incident, wasn't there? About like how she was pushed down, um, she she had escaped and stuff. Um th there is a little bit of weirdness to the translation i want to say i mean not weirdness whoever did it by the way you're a rock star for doing it thank you and thank you for jumping on that super fast whoever you are um but i and also dx thank you for for jumping on this like you were the first I, out of all of us i think to like really be like yo we like this is check this out um but it it seemed to suggest that there were more than one member involved but I, I can't tell because of the plural. Yeah. Uh, with the Japanese, I was listening. I I because I, plural's hard. Like plural is in context when you speak in Japanese. It, so it feels like they're conspiring. Like a lot of members, you have right? one major yeah. one, and then it's like oh, and and someone jumped on this bandwagon, maybe by peer pressure or by anything. You, who knows? These are all assumptions. But yeah, the biggest thing is. Um, so the way she got assaulted is basically they got at her home, not going to her home or finding okay. her on the street, no, no, actually entering her home, um, attacked her by the face, grabbed her by the face, tried to push her down, um, she fell, and then she managed to escape through the window, and then she f uh, found the police, and then the police um, arrived and took the guys in on their arrest. Sadly, though, it's already been announced that they've been released. Yeah. I, 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 that's already mind-blowing that, okay, um, this happened, and there, there's, a, there's still probably becoming uh, something else, because you can only hold them for now, but there will, will be a court case, I think, on this later day. So there'll still be notice, there'll still be police records, since it's now national uh, news, and the outrage. There, there, there's there's going to be more to this. Like, um... I heard from Andy, you know, our, our international yeah. friend as well, who's in mm -hmm. Japan. He said basically, um, it doesn't matter for those people to be released because they will never be accepted anymore again in the 48 group fandom. If if they, the people know basically who they are, I I, I don't know mm -hmm. if any any faces or something were released. Do you guys know about that? I I'm not sure. I have looked around, but I couldn't find anything. No, but th this is someone will know something, and this isn't over. Like for those two oh, no. men who did this, not by a long shot. Trust me on that one. There, there are so <laughs> many things we need to talk about, but let's just go through it. Well, for go ahead, Derek. Yeah. So, so basically, an NHK's report was saying that uh, I, I want to say it was an NHK's report or something I'd read in the Twitter sphere was saying suggesting that a member had had found her and called the police or, or something to that degree to the fact that helped Mahalon. Yeah. And then on top of that, um, the two people that were being charged with this or were brought in had told the police they just wanted to to talk to Mahalon. Um, you know, and somehow the police were okay with that. So, so these two people apparently did not, did not say like they didn't deny being there. They didn't deny being in there, but they did deny assaulting. But of course, if you're in somebody's house and you're not invited, that's invasion exactly. or that's you invasion. know that's trespassing. Yeah, it's trespassing. Um, although there are different. I think we have a moment. Uh... Sorry, we have a little crash there. Oh, come on, really? Sorry, guys, I don't know if you know me, hear me, but the Discord is uh, currently not working. Hello. Sorry, guys, sorry. Um, hopefully, okay. it will reset. The Discord just went completely silent. So, try again, okay. Derek, um, at the moment of invasion, what you said. 
Oh, okay. So, so at you know, um, with invasion or whatever, like it's it's just it's possible that you know, like in America, like you can get a restraining order pretty fast, you know, and it's also possible you won't go to jail, like if you were the person that trespassed, but you you get you would at least be told like you can't go back and stuff and don't go approach you, you'll go you'll go to jail. So what point I'm getting at? Let's look at this balance, okay? Because I'm I'm so angry. It's not even funny because this is my Ocean NGT. Even if she was, it doesn't matter. It's it's yeah. a, it's an idol. I'm looking at this from a management perspective as well as a fan, but I'll get into that later. The thing is, let's look at this from balance, okay? Mahahon went on. She went. She she lost. She lost herself on showroom. Uh, it seemed very sincere. It didn't seem incorrect because she was cut off. I don't think yeah. they would have cut her off if this was exactly. all just whatever. Um, she went on Twitter. She was cut off there. That's insane. Um, she has been – somebody has attempted to censor her. So oh, yeah, that right there gives – I don't think the idiots that did that understand. That just validates her. Exactly. Like, that completely validates her. But let's just say for the sake of argument, there's something else going on here or we're not getting the whole story. There's always two sides to every story. But if, if there if, – if she had – a reason or a purpose for going on and doing this my question would be why now and, and it, it, it's been a month i i can understand waiting this long actually because like i think in japan people have a tendency to hold things in um i hate to make a blanket statement but i just feel that like that is true mm-hmm. more than it isn't mm-hmm. people hold it in and then finally it explodes I'm wondering what the trigger was that made her want to do it now instead of last week or the week before. Well, the difference is um, in a police report, uh, the police itself, because it's under mm-hmm. invest- investigation, yeah. you are basically not allowing to um, extend your thoughts on the case, basically, until it's resolved. And usually okay. something like that takes a month. I, I know from like other stories, mm-hmm. like even other countries, this is in America, when a guy did a home invasion, tried to charge someone with a knife, and police had to uh, shoot the man and, and gunfire, and the guy got killed. It went out there because they were also like uh, known internet celebrities, and they throw it out there a month after because of the whole case. So, mm. in usually police cases, it needs to be 30 days after incidents. Okay. You are allowed to reveal more, since they're in case side. And I think in the Twitter, she said also, I was hoping the manager, Imura, would do something, but it's basically being swept under the rug. Like, this is non intentional drama. We don't want any drama because it might damage the company. Even though this needs to be heard, basically. And uh. I understand why she waited a month, and, and it's, it's a lot of courage. This is, mm-hmm. this is like a lot of thing. The, the, the thing now is she's torn because she doesn't want to be there, but she wants to be there because she still wants to stay with an idol because she loves the group. And mm-hmm. to majority, she loves the fans, just not everybody, like in this case. But just uh. just, just the fact that management is, is fighting this so badly, blocking her Twitter, blocking or cutting the showroom off, even the um, replay moments of showroom are always shown on a... Yep, so those are something. censored, yeah. And those are blocked. Those are blocked, they removed it by AKS yep. themselves. And they tried everywhere, you know, they tried to contain all this drama, basically, that's coming out. And but I'm sadly, saying... Yeah, but to be honest, though, management isn't that tech-savvy, because... <laughs> it's if you the internet. count the mirrors, it's the internet. And most people on the internet are way more tech-savvy than... AKS ever wished hope to be, and in this case, yep. it's quite fortunate because yeah. this will not be stopped. And and, and then I mean, once it's out there, it's out there. Yeah, exactly. And and this thing, I'm I'm very happy with um, not only our international community, but somehow on the community itself because now this, the reason it became a national story is because Twitter went nuts basically in yep. Japan, and it was trending and it was going out there. Then of course we were out there and it kept on going because. People are outraged. It's not the fact. Look, it's like some people are saying, "Oh, but it's not my Oshi, or it's not my group." No, no. People are are not certain it's not that. Like that. It, no. It's like this is just an attempt again to assault. To you know, this cannot fly. And the way it works now, it's a business 
trying to cover up their story because it damages the product basically and that's the most of the outrage coming out of it it just so happens now that it's a idol group with this certain ways with, with this member but the majority that the people are behind it's like this needs to be stopped this cannot be silenced because this is wrong this there should be you know what we said justice to this side and I think that's why we're going through this and that's why I'm happy that we got this platform to use it and we're gonna use it because oh definitely management will not silence us and we will keep going um, I already heard um, the third anniversary of NGT is coming up yep. and basically no, the people yeah. who are going are already planning. no encore no encore they just plan to leave after all is done yeah but they plan also how to act during the show like they're they're, yeah. they're it's it's very dangerous for NGT now. It's somewhat crazy that we mentioned, you know, when we were uh, on our last show about Request Tower and how NGT is yeah. strong and this. If they're not careful, NGT management, this could kill the entire group. Very like much. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, but luckily, we care so much for the, the members and we don't want to see the members hurt, case in point. So, unless management does something about it they right now they're not in a pretty good spot to all the actions that they did the fact that um, I understand they they wanted to you know let's keep it signed because of the police situation but then to sweep it under the rug like nothing happens and she's like oh um, you know because she wasn't at handshake events because of um, physical uh, condition illness yeah. Ba yeah bad physical condition that's not true. This That's was my true. point on last episode. It's like, what they mean with bad physical condition is like she's not feeling well. She is right now emotionally scarred. Mm -hmm. And when in their tweet says that the manager thinks she's delusional, I uh -uh. I do not believe that for one second. <laughs> like when I read that tweet, when I read that tweet, I really wanted that with we we wanted who made that tweet because he is. And for now, I'm not blaming in the entirety of AKS. I'm currently blaming the ones who process the managing system of NGT and who process the community, well, community for NGT, the, 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 uh, the network, like um, media, like a media mm. consultant. I think those persons are uh. now being repercussed and I don't know if this is reported to uh, headquarters, to AKS, rest of the company, or something like that, but I do not believe everyone was informed. Like, a lot of people from AKS may be learning this from news as well. So what do you guys think yeah, about um, that? Yeah, hmm. it, it, it's, it's a systemic problem here in Japan, in my opinion. Uh, I, I think it, everybody wants everything to get along. Everything wants to be nice. It's all about appearance and image. Let's not cause a problem, people. Um, oh, you got assaulted. Ah, sucks for you. Oh, we got to keep a good group image, though. So, you know, could you be quiet about it? I, I, I honestly can see that here. I, it's, you know, it, mm. it's just how things are here. It, it's hard to explain more than that. But I will say this. If anyone at the upper level in AKS knew about this, then they're just as guilty, though. You know, because if they didn't do anything about it, including, I mean... Um, Imamoto san, I always thought was cool. I mean, he, he, yeah, this yeah. is a guy who didn't he do some kind of crazy, like, cross country travel? Yeah, he for walked, NGT? Uh, yeah, he walked our bike ride from Tokyo to Niigata. So, yeah, yeah, for the when they got he, he was, yeah, he was beloved and, and or at least uh, appearance wise. Um, but again, as, as somebody who works an idol, and, and I, I'm in the underground world, as you, as everybody knows, um, I think it's still the same, though. What I can say is true in majors, it is in minor. There is the face people see, and then there is the face people don't see. And they are 99.9% .9 of the times polar opposites, totally different worlds, mm -hmm. totally different ways of thinking and behavior. Um, it's there. There is a lot that goes on in Idol that many people won't ever see and for good reason because this is a business and they have a product to sell and if certain things came out on this side and to the public side it would it would negatively impact the business um, i i i'm thinking particularly that like you know 
when a group disbands and, and every single member of that group leaves, for example, in the underground idol world, to me, that's like, like translation for, oh, um, one of the producers assaulted the girls or something to that effect. Because it's like all the other members will leave out of a solidarity for that girl. Um, it's happened. It's happened a couple times in the underground idol world. This case is a little different only because in AKB 48's history, I can think, you know, we've had one other major, major, well, no, we've had, we've had two, two big things happen as far as problems with, with the idols on big levels. One is, of course, um, <coughs> Minigishi Minami's, you yeah. know, legendary <coughs> head shaving incident. Mm -hmm. She did that to herself, but she did that in a response because she was caught with a fan or not a fan sorry with um with somebody i think someone it was a johnny was, right yeah, yeah, yeah someone, kryptonite yeah. The, the kryptonite of akb she was caught holding the kryptonite and well she got busted for it um and you know but she she had this crazy reaction um uh, very emotional that was one and then of course who can forget the handshake event yep, yeah, um yeah. when poor kwairena and I iriyama anen were both assaulted but that in that case that wasn't even by a fan so thank god yep. that wasn't a fan that was that was just some crazy unemployed jerk who, hey, oh, that idol group's really cute on TV. Let me go stab them. Um, again, the logic here, I can kind of see it. I hate to say it, but now that I live here, I can kind of see Things explode here. Things get built and built and built and they explode. If we don't count AKB, the only other major, major reported incident, and that doesn't mean by far that these are the only incidents, but they're, this is noteworthy. Is when Mayu Tomita, yeah, Mayu Tomita uh, died. Yeah. So look, stab, she, she yeah, got stab. stabbed twenty plus times by a fan right right outside of a venue. Of course, nobody did anything. Just you know, watched her get stabbed. Um, and she had repeatedly tried to get the police to be on her side and be like, "Look, like this dude is crazy," and they're like, "Well, you're kind of crazy. Like, just, you know, leave us alone." In so many words, you know. Of course, they did it the polite Japanese way, you know. But then it cost her almost her life. So. Idol, Idol, Idol has fans that I, I would say, for the most part, in my experience, are very polite, very respectful, very loving, and very kind. I saw that at Sari and Hina's graduation on Monday. Um, the the fans were beyond loving to Sari and Hina at Nekroma. I mean, beyond, beyond. So there's never been any point where I've ever felt, and at least in our fandom, that we have a fan that might necessarily cross that line. And if they do, they do, and we would deal with it. But for the most part, our fans are you know, pretty good. And, and that's every group. I, I mean, I've been around a lot of groups. I see all the fans. Mm -hmm. No no one's really ever crossed the line. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure it happens. But we're talking in this case, this is something brand new. And I would say arguably bigger, not bigger necessarily than Annan and Clay getting stabbed, but this is big in the sense that this was another idol putting out a hit oh, on Mahal yeah. and yeah. potentially more than one. What? What? Let's talk okay. about that, actually. So let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm don't want to make an assumption, but is there an instantly one name that pops into your guys' minds? Oh yeah. Because everybody's been thinking. A, a, a few, well, last month, basically, on Twitter, there was an interaction uh, with um, Mahon and Nakai Rika. An interaction mm -hmm. about situation. Mm -hmm. And there's been, like, rumors going away that, and that Rika's always been, like, this unpopular... She also mentioned this on documentary on TV shows, that she's not part of the group and that she's been... Uh, no uh, negative because she has so much TV in Tokyo and not for NGT so she's out of the friendship we all hear these rumors basically so mostly rumors yeah but, but the thing with Rika is if she does something she will do it straight in your face that's pretty much her modus operandi I would say well the thing is I, I why do I have a feeling that this wouldn't be like surprising to me if it was her mm. why is that a feeling there's no other name in in first Team G because it's a performance that this could happen. I I wonder well, I wonder what this whole situation is. So, but th that that your fellow members who you train with, who you work with, who you understand with, who should be a family. You, of course, you guys fight, but basically, 
this could have gotten an entirely different way because you said Derek this was basically a hit asking for yeah. a hit upon and what yeah. if the guy said you know what you're my Oshi I'll go visit her bang right all for you so many words yeah all for that you could have been a possibility the to the extremists not only yeah or or these fans wanted to curry favor with the idol that put this out because they thought maybe maybe she promised them something. Maybe she promised them all kinds of things. Maybe she didn't. Um, idols have that power to sway people. Idols make I, I, idols make fans do crazy, funny thing, funny things usually. Um, I mean, the, the interactions can, always can be humorous. That the idol can say, you know, get down on get down on the ground. I'm gonna you know stand on you, and that'll be like our checky. Like in, in the case of some some of our fans will do with our our girls, but it's funny, it's cute, you know, it's like ah ha ha. But then I start thinking about it. I, I mean, there's there's again, there's there's rumors at this point. There's so many situations in which th- this could have been like a backdoor discussion that's been going on for a while prior to the incident. Um, idol, idols have that ability. They have that ability to to influence because they're in a position of influence and they're in a position of power over people. So. For for a stranger to go and do this to Mahahol, that's one thing. For fans to do it, that's scary. That's frightening to her. Think about it. How could she ever do a handshake event again and think, oh, are these fans colluding with another one of my team members to maybe hurt me after I leave? How is she even going to be in this group anymore and not feel like her life's in danger? I mean, somebody assaults you in your own home. That's your place of protection. You're never going to feel safe again, ever. Like, it, it, you can't. I, I, had, I had somebody break into my home many years ago and steal like five thousand dollars off me and even to this day i i have that fear that when i come home my stuff's gonna be gone i even to this day that it was like 20 years ago okay so mm. she was assaulted okay she was physically in jeopardy she could have been raped she could have been beat up killed i mean uh, killed killed of yeah. course is the big thing and these these people that did this did this according to Mahon and, and and what she is saying or suggesting was because of another member, somebody she trusted in to some degree at least. Like that's the part I have a problem with. I know, for example, I know all the real names of the Necroman members, and I know all the real names of several idol groups because I've worked with them directly. So I I, I know the real names. I know I know. Not where some of them live, because I, I don't I don't but I know their general areas. Like I, I know like yeah. ex this from mm-hmm. I know I have met family member of idols. I have I have cared for their property. They've given me their luggage to take like when I've taken, you know, people over to America, they've given mm-hmm. me their clothes. Okay, they've given me they've put me in this position of great trust. There was a time when I was in Portland with Necroma and um, we were at the Portland Film Festival. Ricky had to stay late uh, to do a panel, and the girls wanted to go go back home. They were tired, yeah. and and Ricky's like, you know, take the van and, and take the girls home and get them something to eat. He trusted me to take his group, this group of girls, out to get food and to take them home safely. Okay, I'm in a position where I could have taken a van and <laughs> just taken it off the road and killed them all, or I, you know. I could have taken them somewhere and tried to – I mean, if I had tried to hurt them, they'd all beat me up because they're all pretty strong. But I'm saying, like, I, I was in the position – I could have hurt them severely. I could have spread all their information out there online. I don't do those things because I value, love, and respect these idols because I'm in a position of great trust. Me and Ricky, we talked about this situation actually today because I told him about it. Yeah. He was very upset um, because it, it reflects – it's like we're in this position to help these girls, to to make sure they are safe and comfortable, and they're beautiful girls. So you add the beauty factor in. Guys get weird about that. Guy, guys get real crazy about beautiful girls. Mahon is arguably one of the most beautiful idols in idol history. If not, she's in at least in the top five, in my opinion. There there have been rarely idols that look as gorgeous as her. Does that mean it's an invitation to hurt her? Does that mean it's an invitation to rape her or assault her? No. It is not, but my question, never is. and to, to bring this, never is, yeah, no. never, never is an imitation. But my question is, this other member or members, how did they feel it was okay to take their position of trust with Mahahon 
and use that against her because they're an even bigger position because they're they sweat with her on stage they know yeah. even more stuff with her on stage they're in direct con like if milo is sitting next to them backstage they see her cell phone they could see all the messages you know it, it's it gets some these backstages i not probably not where these girls they, play they, they, but it, it could get pretty close they just, it's yeah, close they quarters. sleep together in hotels because we're on, exactly. on the go they, they don't have separate rooms they, they bunk up with each other and yep, all these certain exactly. times the, the, big, mean, the like, biggest thing is that the trust is just unbelievably because it's never been in history hmm. that, okay, you may not like someone from your group, but there is like... There's this cross, there's this line you don't cross, yeah, you know? And, but it's also with management, and, and you know, it's a business and this and that, and it's keeping safe name, but this is, this is unbelievably horrendous that this is actually happening, and... We're going to see what happens in, 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 in this future because there are going to be a lot of interesting because I think in my time as I've been a fan of, of this group, I've never seen... The only thing, because I never witnessed his life when this happened, the, the assault in 2014, mm. I never felt this outrage. And I've read them all day, just messages going in there and just crazy. And it fills my heart as well because these are the people who are really, you know, protective and out there and want to keep them safe. And mm -hmm. in, in in some point, I hope Mahon sees this. But I I think this is also why she saw this. You said, like, how can she ever participate handshake events again because of this? Mm. Well, she didn't. After 8th of December, she was on a hiatus, you know, because hiatus. of bad physical health mm -hmm. and stuff like that. <laughs> no, no, she was scared to death. Pretty that much. was happened. And I, unbelievably so. Um... Mentioned Iriyama Anna. She was on Twitter and posting the situation well. She she applauds her for her bravery for telling this story. And as she should. Because this isn't about contracts. This isn't about situation. This is about your safety. And it has exactly. been broken. I, I'm, I'm just now saddened that... As a lot of fans, and I, I still have this opinion. It's like, it's not safe for her to be in that group. And not for a lot of girls not safe in that group anymore. So personally, I think just leave, just end. But mm. the other side is she doesn't, you know, she loves this work, basically. She loves mm -hmm. being an idol. She loves being on stage. She loves being interactive with the fans who appreciate her. So it's it's a really tough decision for her. She wants to be justice, but that's why she came out because it's been like a month and the managers are like... Management's about doing something right. to maybe outside people will, yeah. Yeah, so... Well... What I'm hoping ahead, to see, what I'm hoping to see now, is certain firings. I'm 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 serious about that. Certain firings. I'm uh, the main manager of NGT. I want him out. It's like this is is this is unbelievably bad and your, your job. It's like well, we have a reason for the no. Your job is mainly to protect the girls. You didn't. You actually did the opposite. You let everything slide. Other side, the members, because she knows who it are, who they are, or if it's one or several, we'll see. Mm. Those members, out. I just, you don't need that thing in your group. That's the other thing. And then the third thing I want for safety is move, transfer to a different group. And I'm hoping, because I don't think this would fly in AKB48 itself. <coughs> Or I, SKE, yeah. or mm. even NMB. I, I think STU is even or SKT. But it's like, I personally NGT. It's like I, I still have one member in my mind, Nakai Rika, that is crazy enough to do this. But I don't think there's there are too many pillars. Basically, if Kita Hararie was still in NGT, this would have never happened. Mm. No, definitely. Uh, this would have uh, never happened. Yeah, she's old. She's old yeah. school. Yeah. She's old school. Yeah. If you if you do something wrong, oh, she will tell you about it. She'll take you out personally. So yeah. But yeah. Now yes. I, one more thing. One yeah. more thing. Now I wonder. Hmm. Current captain of NGT48 is Kato Mina. Uh -huh. Why we don't hear anything yet about this or later. Is there a, there's a captain for Team G, right? And that is Nakairika. 
right? Um, uh, I'll take a quick look. Because I, I want wonder... to say Mahon's co-captain. Yeah, she's say. vice captain, I believe. Vice captain, yeah. Uh, uh, Homa Hinata is the captain. Hinatan. Hinatan, okay. So, why? Well, what about those situations? Why haven't they been formed? What's happening in that? There, there are still many questions coming out of this. But well, the main, the main thing that we're mad about is the fan situation. That's that's we're definitely mad about that. But that's an anger we cannot resolve unless the police does something, and that's a whole other case. What we're mostly mad about is management being silent, and that this has been by a fellow member. I think those are the two other topics that we're completely outraged about. And that's what we want to see different, because even though if if they found any way out, this could happen. It's like you're an idol. It, it's like it's it's hard to say this because it happens to a lot of celebrities as well. You get stalked, you get photos, and there's an assault. Is there a possibility? Yes. That's why you have security or other managers around you where you everywhere you go because you're a celebrity. But being hit by basically another member saying, hey, here's where she lives. That's a line that's unbelievably I never thought that someone would cross. Willingly to say, hey, I want this member and I'm not going to do anything, but here you go. I'll give it you for free on a platter. Go have fun. Yeah. Um, again, I, I'm looking at this. I'm going to say, assuming this is all true, assuming my home is not embellishing. She's not. I, again, I don't see why she would. Uh, but we don't know the whole story, you know. Um, you know, this that this is not just assuming. This isn't just a catty internal fight between Mahon and another member that went out of control, or or assuming this even happened at all. Um, like I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt because what I saw in showroom felt very sincere, and and again the fact that she was censored extremely. Um, yeah. That, like I said, that just that just totally gives her credibility. There are there are a couple things that come to mind, like you said. Um, <clears throat> but I, I want to add to what you were, said that you know, K Katamina hasn't said anything yet. But again, this is still just developing. We're only in the day one of Mahon Gate here. Like it's you know it's it's basically just developing. Um, I, I am curious what her reaction will be, but here's the big question I have, and this is what I want to add, and this is what I want to ask you, this is what I want to ask everybody that might watch this. Who else would have a motive or reason to do anything to Mahahon? And this is where I wish we had an NGT expert with us, because, like, I don't know the group well enough, you know, because, again, like, in my capacity, what I do, I'm following AKB48, I don't want to say loosely at best, but, like, Enough that we can, we can do the show together. I, can, I, I probably sound like I know what I'm talking about a little bit, but I I'm not like stage forty, you know, every minute. I'm not I'm not one of those guys. Like I just I can't. I I wish I had the time. I don't. You don't. We we're all yeah. busy. But the it, it this is the thing that I my immediate thought was okay. We're all gonna think Nakairika. I I think just because her public persona comes off is I'm freaking crazy. I, I feel so stupid vouching for her and talking for her last episode or whatever, and, and even NGT in general, because they seem so solid. And I I, I met Nikairika, and, like, you know, I, I didn't get any weird vibe from her. She, she's just, you know, she's got that edginess to her, okay? And and there, But that that's a far thing from being this edgy, kind of outspoken idol to, I'm going to put a hit out on, on somebody. <laughs> that's, a, that's a homicidal jump. So who, who else could have a reason for this and is it even a member of ngt could it be from another group i i don't think that's the case but i you know there there's there's a lot again I, let me let me just speak from my experience here before you guys give me your opinions on this um again seeing the idol world on the other side i can tell you 100 percent, 100 percent. there is definitely rivalries between idols in different groups and there's within groups. I, I've seen it personally. Idols sometimes don't like other idols. And they can't just come out and say that. It ruins their reputation. But believe me when I tell you, one idol may look at another idol and be like, that bitch is going down. And you you know that you know they're thinking it because they they give the frost, man, the cold shoulder. I've seen it. So 
That's the underworld. Now, in the major, what you do might have a much more reaching effect, and you may not have it be so bad because, again, in the, in the idol world, in the, in, in the major, your backstages are bigger in a lot of cases, yeah. so you're not as crammed together. You're not doing tie bonds where you're with 10 other idol groups where you're going to have that close proximity to other idol groups. So it's my, my thing is definitely within her group. People she had close proximity to, they would have a reason over time to not like her for whatever reason. They don't like her because she's she's prettier than them. Maybe she's a whiner backstage. They, you know, some some idols could just have a problem with the way she wears her hair. I mean, that's that's how simple a a, a thing could start. And and like, did you guys ever see the movie Outrage? I have heard no. about it actually. No. With Takashi Kitano, it's about the uh, yakuza. No, I haven't seen it yet, so. The funniest thing about that movie is the incident that starts all the killing in the movie is such a, like, to me, it's like a minor misunderstanding that went from one Yakuza member's misunderstanding with another Yakuza group's misunderstanding to, like, 100 people dying. Now, the reason I bring that up, again, is because misunderstandings and, and grudges fester, they, they grow, and then when they when they explode, there's no stopping it. Yeah. And that is so true in Japan. It's not even funny. So my question to you is, what member might have had this? What who Ooh. who else has that reason to do this to her? Well, currently we I, I'm I'm, I'm uh, looking at Team G. Yeah. Yeah. First yeah. So and while I'm on Twitter currently looking at it, and apparently someone posted, um, oh we know this guy, it's Anime Swordmaster. He's been uh, oh, saw, on yeah. the uh, show at once. Um, Renapon addressed the in incident. She says she's in regular contact with Mahon every day online and asks how everyone mm -hmm. to believe in Mahon and please wait for things to unfold. So first up, that's one out. Th th that's yeah, she's out. Yes, she's yeah. out. But I'm looking at these at these members from Team G, and there's one face in that group that really just screams at me that this is oh it it's an assumption and it's bad to make assumptions, but in her track records. It it shows that she has this craziness factor, and this this you know we were talking about certain characters, and she has this chaotic character, you know, saying on TV it's like, oh I'm not accepted by the rest of the group, um people don't like me or they hate me, and bath mouthing other members from NGT. She's done it before, she's done this multiple times, and it it's because her showroom got so popular, she got this status. Personally, her status was going lower, and again, the NGT, like Derek said, I don't watch the theater shows. Maybe there's more hints there when you watch the theater shows during those moments, because I remember when, like a few years ago when they first started, we watched a uh, entire year segment's worth of introductions of Mahon, and that had only escalated now till this year as well. People really love yelling out for Mahon, and... Maybe this member didn't get that enough. Maybe that's all uh -huh. a little jealousy coming up. There's a lot of things we can speculate about. But the matter of the fact is, and I, I believe we all are agreeing on this, I personally believe the things Mahon said. It's not a delusional act. And and just to think that in the slightest, it's like, then we turn things around. Why would things go so far? Because we know the guys have shown up there. And they were fans, and she had to call the police. The police took it as a, um, uh, made a report, and they actually made it a national TV there. So, if this is all, like, in someone's head delusional, do you think it really would get so far? No, this can't be delusional, not at all, so, no, that's, this is real. This is damn real. In the meantime, I'm currently looking at the news, and now... Uh, because it's it currently it is what time in Japan? Uh, it's about three, three in the morning. Yeah. Three in the morning. Okay. Well, I'm seeing all these news outlets. I think it's from today, and like every uh, the news uh, every day or something like that, they are showing it. They are showcasing it. This is this is not like a little chicken situation. This is like no, 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 no. this is this is big. This is real. So mm -hmm. I really do believe that this. Is not seeing something delusional coming out there. I, I mean, to Japan again. Like the news media here sometimes will 
put on the most banal of things and try to make it seem like it's like earth shocking news. So when something like this happens, oh, they'll be on this. They'll yep. they'll eat this up. They'll put this everywhere because it's it, it's just such sensationalism stuff for them. But the reality is, if it's true, and again, I, I I'm just trying to give the benefit of the doubt to to this whole situation. I'm gonna assume it's true. I, I I'm with you, Robin. I believe her, not because yep. I, I I just just watching the showroom. I don't know. Those emotions were real. Plus, again, like I said, she got cut off I, right there. They just told me, oh, she she's telling the truth, uh, or at least something to this. So, so we'll just say for the sake of argument, she's she's right. This this cannot stand, and this this is also something where, you know, the it, it's not a small event. I, I'm glad she wasn't like physically beat up and bruised. I'm glad she. I'm really glad she wasn't raped. I'm really glad she wasn't killed. Nice. But it doesn't matter that she wasn't any of those things. The fact is, a member put out a hit on this girl, and then and maybe multiple members conspired, which leads me to the point I wanted to make when you were talking about Nakai Rika. Yeah, you're right. It, it is wrong to make assumptions, but she does have a good track record of being that girl, like in the room that would be the first to hold the bat to a girl and swing. It's just, I've always had the experience that the quietest one in the group is the one you got to worry about. It's the one that's back there scheming and. And, and, and smart enough to not put herself in the spotlight because she knows what that means. It's a very good um, point. No names have been yeah. called out. I, I, I give credit to Mahone for not pulling out the member's name. You would think I would say the opposite. I No, I, I think this needs to be handled carefully. I think last night, showroom, that was an expert. She just she couldn't keep it in anymore. But much credit and much love and much respect to Mahone. She didn't. She didn't. She still said, "Still, hey, love NGT. Don't, don't, don't quit on them." Uh, she didn't name the members when she easily could have in this showroom. She could be like, "It was," and boom, that would have been all over for that girl. But she didn't do that. Again, a massive respect to Mahone for for containing herself. And the reason I bring that up is, doesn't that also kind of support the fact that she's not delusional? Because if she was just a delusional crazy girl, she'd have been like, "Oh, it's this member. It's this member." No. She had composure. It was collective. Why talks. would she have composure yeah. if if she was so crazy? She she would have just said she would have just started rattling it off. Yeah. But guess what? She didn't. So that also makes me feel she's being very smart about this as much as she can be. But that just couldn't be contained. And God damn it, I felt every word she said because she was assaulted. I, that'd be like me coming back to my place here. And there's two dudes here. They push me down and try to beat me up. Of course, I kill them. Mother, you know, I kill them. But yeah. it's just like she's a beautiful young, tiny. Fra she's tiny and yeah, fragile. She's tiny. I mean, oh man, she's bone thin. Mm -hmm. And like, I mean, I know. I shook her hand twice. Yeah. She is bone thin mm -hmm. and and like smaller than you think. And like somebody could just push her and she'd go flying across a room. Now imagine two big fat idol fans. They're, they're probably two fat dudes and and like ugly dudes, and, and they're waiting for her. Thank God she got away. But I I, I divert. The point uh, I'm trying to make is like, yeah, you but, know what I'm saying. Like like she hmm. she was in a position where she could have really pulled the gun. She didn't. But this this is now news. Will this result in something happening? That's what I want to talk about. Is what do we think? What do we think should be the biggest outcome of this? Well, the, everything. Uh, I want to know the thoughts. Well, f first mm. off, she she is like I said, she's not delusional. These were collective no. thoughts, carefully yeah. placed because she was really thinking of what to say, but she needed to throw it out there, and it was she was struggling a lot. But you remember, she's also an adult. She is not like this young and right. idol yeah, that's exactly. delusional. Right. Maybe no, no. This she is now twenty four years old. 23, 24 years old. She's around there. Yeah, she's yeah. around there. So, this is one who's you know experienced a lot already, I would say, and it's like still considered young, of course. But no, it, it, this is not like no. She knows how the real world is, and the matter of fact, it were two guys, 25 years old, and it they they what uh, said in the news report unemployed, because of course. Because of course, yeah. Of course. Yeah. So. This is this is just a fact, but what will happen is okay. Last time it was okay. We're gonna put metal detectors at the um, theater and and theater you know and put, it, yeah. put it in there. How does that work in this situation? Because this was in their private home. Um, I'm thinking security is going to go up on on the girls' show. I well, I, I've never I don't know how this works, but. 
Basically, if there's a chance you see them on the street during their downtime. You know, remember that AK Bingo episode with Taniguchi Megu sitting in the, yeah. in the cafe? And it's like, hey, yeah. you know who I am, Hello. sitting alone with no, basically, security around her. That's not going to happen anymore. It's now mm -hmm. like, okay, uh, for your safety, we want you guys to travel um, probably without... You cannot go anywhere on your free without time. Yeah, yeah how, exactly. How, I think that's going to happen. I'd be like, hey, it's my day off. I want to go uh, to the shopping mall with my sister. Or, hey, uh, Muriyama Yuri and, and uh, Okanana are going to see a movie. It's like, that's not going to happen anymore. Because now they're worried that you cannot go out for the safety. Because now, it's like, hey, this is national. We need to protect our girls. They're going to overly protect, uh, protect them. For a while. For a while. For yeah. a while, probably, again. And I hate this system so much about this. Because, again, the major majority of the fans... They are all protective, they are all respectful, but there's always those few delusional ones that ruin it for everyone on that side. And guess, yeah. it's with everything. I, I don't know what this is, but this this is my idea that's going to happen. DX? No, to be fair though, I think if they're going to so be, if they're going somewhere, there's always going to be a manager around. It's more like well, they can't even go. Th that's yeah. the thing. You cannot trust the manager right now. Yeah, true that. But some sort of chaperone, I would say. But... Yeah, well, y you have hundreds of girls in this group. It's literally impossible yeah. to to have security 24-7 around the clock. Although AKS, I think, could certainly afford uh, to get more a level of protection. They could come up with a system, I think, where you can check and make sure the girls are okay. I, again, I, I only have it from my experience. You know, our, our girls, they can leave, they can walk. They're our fans, they don't follow, they're cool. Um, the only weird thing I've ever seen, I don't even know if it's weird, it was just more just sad, it was like when Hina was leaving last night or the other night, you know, somebody filmed her walking down the street, you know, but it wasn't, oh, yeah. I didn't feel it was creepy. It was more like, oh, wow, like she's really going. They still kept an enormous distance from her. And, mm -hmm. and I, I'm pretty sure I know who it was. And like, she, it, it, he's, he's not, he's not that guy. They weren't following um, uh, her, right? They were standing no, stationary. No, standing still. Yeah, stationary. Yeah. Well, so, so like the idea is after shows you do, I think it's called Dimachi, where like you wait for the fan, the members to leave and then you, but even when they leave, you wait a while until they're out of view, and then you walk. That, um, so there was, there was a, a gigantic group of fans doing that. that that's with everything. Basically, um, at concerts, at events. Personally, when I went to like uh, the wrestling shows, WrestleMania, and stuff mm -hmm. like that, um, there were so many moments that a lot of fans are waiting at the hotel, and they yeah. had gates basically set up, and you see the wrestlers coming outside. All the wrestlers, you know, they can beat you up, things about that. But more, the idea is... It's like you wait for them and you wave, you wave, and it's like, hey, you see me, wave. It's like waiting at the airport. You're not jumping the gates, you go to them. You just say, hey, enjoy your flight or welcome back. And it's like, ah, oh, maybe you have some presents you're like showing to that. You see the, the, those those movies types on there. And then you're like, okay, you're on the bus, bye bye, bye bye. And then the bus goes away, and then you're like, okay, let's, this is done. Let's go. Yeah. It's like, let's go. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it, it's just it's just a nice thing. Fan, fans like that connection. It's cool. Like I said, I mean, like even like Hanako san came to uh, the the show, and she came as a fan. She refused to come as a guest. Like you know, she's that's just how she is. She's awesome like that. Showed us a lot of respect. But she's in line waiting <coughs> to do the the kakumi. The kakumi oh, is yeah. group photo because we didn't do checkies because there's too many people. So we did kakumi, and we were just zipping through. And she's just everybody's talking to her. And she's just talking to them. They don't try to touch her. They give her her her, her space. We actually had a ton of idols at our sh at the show. Like they came to show respect and love to our girls, and nobody bothered them. It was it was cool. Like nobody was harassing them because we have the best fans in that sense. But like watching Hina leave, you know, they were just sad. It was like you know, like you've been with us how many years now? Like it's like I can't believe you're going. So it was more like a tribute in that regard. Mm. When you have a major group like AKS, I think the stakes get raised a little bit more because people get a little more crazier. Think about it. Uh, and an idol comes to you, a major idol who's on TV shows that you see in every. I mean, you know, you can go to Akiba and go to any random store and buy this idol's face on a number of products, and she's talking to you privately, and she's like, "Hey, 
come to my place. I want to talk to you. She gets into a relationship with you. She's dating you. She's touching you and kissing you. And then she's like, you know what? I don't like my home. She's been a real problem for me. Think you do something about that? So that's the difference here. It's not delusional fans. It's fans that were roped in by a member. That's that's the newness of this. That's the twist here. Holy crap. We didn't even talk that's, about that actually because yeah. that was mentioned. It's just like I'm not in a love relationship because I respect the rules and love bands like that. But she was implying in those tweets that this person is in a relationship was, yeah. with a fan, like in a personal relationship. And then ask that's what I'm this. We didn't even that's talk what I'm about saying. that. Like, I mean, yeah, I will, but that's that's why I'm bringing it up now because like that's the other component of this is like you know, again my world. Plenty of idols date people. That's that's like normal. Mm. But I mean, it's just like I, I hate to say it, but sorry people, sorry to scat blast your illusions. Idols date guys. Okay, it's just you know they do. And not all of them. Um, and certainly <clears throat> not ones that you know. Like I'm in close proximity to because I well I won't say either way because it's not my business and I'll never I'll never bring that business up the, of all the groups that I work with but I will say as a general blanket statement uh, not about any particular idol that I, mean, I, I guess know you mean or, or will know yeah I, yeah right okay so so they date they date okay and that's just yeah. that's it's 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 hey, something that fans hey, put out their life, head. Yeah. they get married yeah, without saying yeah. it later so for crying out loud yeah Riri pond thank you i mean so the point is is like you it's fine like whatever like if, if that girl's heart is more about finding somebody in love god bless them i i like happy just get out of idol because then you're you're it's it's a conflict of interest okay but yeah. that's a whole other thing the thing is this is a girl in an idol group who used her position to gain influence with some some fans who again not saying it's right that they or that they're victims because they're not because they made a conscious choice to assault somebody that I don't you're not a victim in that case you're just a you're an effing idiot um and you're also just really not cool for doing that and I'm trying to be nice with my words here I could say a lot more but I'm not the thing is it's like this idol did that she influenced she's like oh you like me huh and I'm gonna have sex with you or kiss you or I'm gonna make out with you and as soon as she does that for this this fan think about it if this fan doesn't do that for her. What's she gonna do? I don't like you anymore. See ya. And then he's gonna lose this uh, this idol, this larger than life person. And if if this unemployed guy who has nothing else in his life except this iconic idol who's everywhere, telling and, and this this idol's like go, you know, go assault. What's he gonna do? Because he's an idiot and he thinks there's nothing else in his life. Ah, no big problem. I'll just, I, and I'll just go and assault her. That's crazy to me that this idol used her position to do that. That's nuts because you know what's smart about that though? The conversation is going to be about the fans. Like you would just point out, point out like you were talking about delusional fans, but the conversation needs to be about this idol or idols. If it's more than one, oh, that's even worse. But like how can you do that? How can you use fans in that position? Then the, the question is I don't know if it's so much – the idols need protecting as it is then the fans. They need protected too. Like, how did they even get into contact with this girl? Because it's not that easy to do. Like, this idol would have had to have reached out for 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 this fan. How did she, how did I mean? Obviously, online is probably how it happened. Twitter, but it's probably. like she would have had to make a. I I mean, I don't even know if it would have been that. It would have been something even more private. I don't know, like something exchanged during a, a handshake event, maybe like kind of whisper. But yeah, I don't know how a fan that goes to an AK, AKB group could even be that close to these girls. So that leads me to think the only situation that would be is they knew somebody who knew somebody that knew the girl privately. Like, oh, my friend uh, works directly with this idol and there was a contact there. That had to be that way. Or or just went enough to the theater shows, went and did enough handshakes that... Got a name for that person. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A connection. Got a name, but connection, yeah. But, but even that does I I just can't see it. I I honestly feel it was like this idol knew somebody and it was their friend, and it's like my friend and then and it was a private thing that way. Because if it was anything on Twitter or something, I think there would be screenshots. People would have been like, "Oh, look what no, she no. wrote to me." DM. DM. But but yeah, but you just you just boom. You can screen. You you can say. I mean, again, with tech savvy guys that we have, you can you can everything's recorded online. So I'm really mm -hmm. thinking it's somebody who knew somebody. That would be the most logical thing. And and in that case, you know, the privateness of this relationship could be established that way. 
and nobody would know any better because that's how it happens with idols uh, just to be honest like like it's it's never fans it's never fans it's always friends and 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 they're friends or maybe they're your 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 friends from school or something yeah, that know friends. you yeah. yeah yeah that's how it always is it's 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 rarely i would say a fan rarely because again it, there's just the connection it's it's almost impossible so you know what i mean like that's the problem here what how did this idol do that? I can't wait. I hope we find out who it is. I really yeah, do. Same here. Well, what we're now say, uh, waiting for is basically the first upcoming theater stage. Because I don't know how NGT is going to yeah, follow here. this up. But they uh, have to be very careful. And the thing is now, currently Mahon is silenced. They did unlock her Twitter again. Because yep. it's, it's not locked anymore. Um, am I right before I say that? Because on yeah, mobile it's maybe unlocked. different. Yeah, it's it's, un it's, it's unlocked. It's unlocked. But it's unlocked. she she didn't tweet anything yet or about it. No, twenty Are hours ago. Are all the ago. old tweets still there? The, yeah, they're there. Everything's still there. Everything's yeah, still so it's nothing deleted. So nope. there's already a step into the right direction, basically, because they're not deleting anything on that side. That's interesting. I I would have I could have. That's really interesting. So maybe something was said. Um. How do I put it? Um, I I think I think this is this is what needs to happen. First of all, I I hate to put the pressure back on any member at this, but I think Katamina, being the captain of NGT, needs to come out and say something. Yeah. I, mean, she, I think she she's been silent. I don't know why. Um, I'm hoping God she has nothing to do with this. I can't even imagine her having anything to do with this. She just seems like not that girl. So um. She needs to come out. She needs to make a statement. She needs to show solidarity. All the other NGT members to rally behind Mahon, show solidarity. Sol solidarity. Other AKP members need to do it. It's it's a shame that the girl in Mexico in AKP was the one we've heard the most from, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. I don't think there's been um, any other members that really said anything. Am I correct in that? I haven't seen anything yet as of uh, this morning, but no, I have only seen uh, Anin at the moment. So, yeah. so I wonder, yeah, it's... Cur currently... Um... All Night Nippon was also today. Yeah. I haven't heard anything that happened on Night Nippon. Do you, do you no, think... Pride, Pride didn't even talk about it. No. I mean, think about it. It's, it's you know, it, it's it's still too fresh. So, you know, they don't want to make any assumptions. They don't want to put anything out there. Their man management is probably ordering a blanket hush statement. But that's my point. I, th I think the idols need to kind of rise up above that statement and be like, you know, screw you guys. Like, we need to support this girl. You know? Like, she was assaulted. Um... So I, th I think, first of all, solidarity needs to come out. If, if, if fans, they want to retain the fans' respect, they need to show us that it's worth it. That they, mm -hmm. this isn't just a bunch of girls that are going to catfight to the point where it's going to get violent. Because at this point, like if you're not saying anything, if you're silent, you're also part of the problem. I think you're, you're just as worse, yeah. in my opinion. Mm. Um, I think it's an old Italian way of thinking, and I'm Italian. So it's like if you don't, if you don't say something, you're, you're part of the problem. So that's number one. Number two... I agree with you, Robin. Firings need to happen, and they need to happen fast. Yeah. Get Fire. rid of it, it, it again. This is true. Uh, the manager NGT. Bye. See you. Go work in a position. Go work in a profession where you are not responsible for the safety, well-being, and care of so many young girls. Okay? How dare you? You know, like bye. See you. And whoever else knew about this and didn't do anything, bye. See you later. Sayonara with a big final sayonara. Like, you need to get the hell out of Idol because you don't belong here. Like, you do not belong in this business. So that that's number two. Number three, the fans. Uh, as an NGT fan, it's not a good day for you today. Um, won't be for a while. I, 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 I have a lot of love and respect for NGT. I mean, we, we praise them a lot. Um, they're worth the praise. The, the stuff they put out has been consistently well. My, my pick for best song of the year last year was an NGT song yeah, exactly. with Mahahol, no less. Um, the year before that, an NGT song was my pick for song of the year. So, you know, I don't want NGT's value to go down. I don't want their stock to be so plummeting at this point that it's unredeemable. However, the fans need to decide that, and and I hope that they'll they'll figure out the best approach to this. If they decide to boycott NGT, then I I support that. Uh, I don't yeah. want to. But I support it because at this point, NGT needs to understand that you cannot cover because. up the assault of one of your members. You can't. 
I, it I, will not be silenced. I, so, I yeah. currently support only the uh, the instant members. That that's like yeah, the entirety exactly. of NGT. It, it's it's under question. Mm -hmm. But most of all, and I think uh, this is a good way to go to there, is, is like I, I represent for Mahon. I, I support her yeah. in any, any way. Yeah. I want her to, to smile again, basically, because yeah. this shouldn't happen to anyone, mm -hmm. let alone just, you know, being an idol. So I, I hope that what we're doing here now and all the interaction online that she sees this and that we agree with her that we're not standing with this and we uh, support her bravery to the system and yeah, she's not alone we will nope. fight for her basically we will stand for her and we will not be silenced we will we'll see what, what will be in the future but for now this is just I just hope that everything will be okay. There needs to be something uh, done, and I believe there will be something done. I hope so. Okay. If if this gets covered up, I swear to God. He's a DX is angry, Robin. I, I it's I understand it's just not going to do it. You know, it's it's let's let's be honest, because again, we're not delusional, stupid, and, and everybody on the show, like I I mean I I have the same reaction. You know, like like. It's just again from a Western point of view, like like our you know we want to we we're, we're outraged you know and and, yeah. and and rightfully so. I I think I think the thing is though, there there does need to be a consequence here, yep. and and you know there does need to have something happen. And the whole reason this happens, and Mahon went out yesterday and said all this because there wasn't a consequence, and. That's not right, and and the consequence needs to happen, and and it's it sucks that she had to have that emotional breakdown, and 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 go through the this month must have been hell for her, and 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 just like have to have to be in a group like where she said like it's cool you you know uh, all these girls in this group can like you know screw fans and be dating and then because I don't maybe somehow she was implying that the that this is why it happened that she knows the motive is like it was an argument over that maybe maybe she called a member out for that mm. and maybe the member is like oh really well I'll get my fans to hurt you I don't know again that's all speculation at this point but the, we do need to support her we need to support her bravery um, that goes without question but I'm just going to tell my own right now like you know like we love you you know, like we all love you. We all do. You're not, you're not alone. You are not. And and you know what? If you quit, if you quit AKB, come come to our world. Come to my world, because that that will not happen in our world. That will not happen. And if you want to be an idol, you there are safe places to be idols. It sucks that what I'm about to say, but as of this point, I don't think AKB48 is a safe place for idols, and that sucks to say. Yeah. Because I love AKB. I always love AKB. AKB's had their share of problems, from bad music to bad everything. But this this is a whole other level, yeah. and and you can't yeah. you can't you can't avoid things like you know having members get assaulted. I mean, as much as you want to try, you know, it's it's unfortunate. But the idol when you're a public figure, like you said, Rob, it doesn't even matter. You're an idol. You're in a position where you can be hurt because you're a public person. When another member in a group actually puts out your private information to people and forces the situation, that's where crap gets real and like shit shit like needs to be dealt with because then that's that's a reflection on your group not on an external influence like a fan or a crazed unemployed person who wants to take revenge because he's unemployed so he goes stab you at a handshake event that's that's external this is internal that's where there's a problem we cannot stand for this kind of internal sweeping under the rug bullshit and more importantly Mahone is a young young woman who put her her life in the hands of people that should have no business taking her life and just saying it's expendable it's it's okay to have this happen again if i was in management this would have been dealt with within minutes minutes not hours or days minutes but i i can't i mean i, I can totally see this happening because again it's japan and and it's all about the law and keeping everything peaceful and let's just push this out of the road because we don't we don't want yeah it's okay um uh, we'll deal with it we'll deal with it we'll deal with it we'll deal with it oh we didn't deal with it and now you're on showroom talking about it good for you my home but what yeah. i'm saying is we love you we support you. Come to come to my world. Uh, you you can join any of these groups, and I guarantee, like nobody is going to do this to you, because this is not reflective of everything. There are there is safe worlds. 
And, and I, I hope whatever she ends up doing at this point, whether she graduates, if she stays, wow, that's that would be an incredible feat of bravery on her part. Yeah. But if she doesn't, even more brave because I would say she needs to she needs to put herself in a position where she can deal with this emotional scarring. We all need to support her for this. And that's why we're doing this show. Rob and I, I give you a lot of respect yep. for this. DX, I understand your anger. I understand your frustration because I'm right there with you. Um, you know, we all need to really wait and see the whole story, wait and see the official report. Um, but as of this moment, let's all support Mahone. Let's all go and let's show her some love. Let's give her our, our, our complete love. And also let's give the NGT fans love because a lot of NGT fans now are hurting. They're wounded. They're in a position where they don't know what's going to happen to their beloved group. And rightfully so, we need to support them. And we and, and you know and also the other members, as you said, Robin, the innocent ones, the ones that they just want to be idols. They don't want to deal with this stuff. They just want to go on stage and dance and make people happy. They, they don't want all this. That's what I'm hoping for. Next time we see Mahon on stage is tears of joy. Yep. Yeah. Me too. All right. Um. The ex final thoughts. No, if I actually vent them, it's going to call for violet, and I don't want to do that, so no, I'm going to be silent on this one. Okay, Derek, one more final thought before we wrap things up. Okay. I said it. I'm, I'm just going to say this one more time. We love you, Mahone. Like, stay strong. Stay Absol strong. Absolutely. Um, you, you will not be silenced. Uh, it's out there, and <clears throat> if anyone is, is listening to this, just spread this, this as well, this news, just because mm -hmm. this is not right. And in in general, this should not be right, and this should be justified. With the people who did the assault, should be, you know, just put in jail for for a problem time that they have been done this. Like getting away with this just because, like, oh uh, no, we didn't do anything, and there's no evidence. So there should be more to this, and uh, I hope that they'll they'll find a way to do hence this crime because. This, this shouldn't be over and we'll continue talking about this on, until there's something done because this is unheard of and, and it shouldn't be swept under the rug like anything like this mm. all right well, well put well put uh with that though uh thank you uh for those who are watching and listening for watching this uh emergency episode of 48 talk and we'll see you next time for our normal broadcast Bye, everybody. Yo.